Thanks for watching everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, thank you very much for the support. I hope you'll stick around, hit that subscribe button for future content. Now I'm heading to the range here in just a few minutes. The truck's all loaded up and uh, I'm going to do this head to head video with the 19 and the Centurion. If you're already looking at the overall time of this video and you're kind of freaked out, I have done you a solid. If you look in the description down below, there's timestamps. And you can click on those timestamps and it will take you to the corresponding uh, section of this video. So it might be uh, the weights you're interested in between the, the uh, Gen 3 Glock 19 and the Centurion. Might be the sizes. You might just want to see them uh, shot head to head. And then you might want to get my closing thoughts at the end. So I have tabulated all those for you to help you out. All right. I know sometimes uh, time constraints, maybe you don't like to hear people talk as much as you like to watch them shoot or vice versa is the case. So. I wanted to do that for you all. I want you to get information out of this video that is pertinent and, and that suits you, all right? So, uh, heading to the range, perfect day, mid 50s, just a slight breeze. It's perfect, in my opinion, to shoot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run these guns head to head and we're gonna come back here on the workbench that if you've been around the channel for a while, you're gonna be familiar with. And I'm gonna give you all my closing thoughts uh, of the head to head between the Glock 19 and the APX Centurion. We're gonna do a size comparison between the 19 and the Centurion. Both guns are clear. We'll just give you a visual first. We'll put the calipers on them a little bit to show you the differences and similarities. And you can see, depending on where you line them up, uh, the slide section is essentially the same. Uh, the beaver tail on the APX Centurion is a little deeper, so if you line up the frames, they're about the same. If you line up the slides, the Centurion is a little shorter. Now the difference in these is gonna be on the trigger guard. If you look at the difference between the trigger guard and the end of the barrel, that makes the APX more comfortable for appendix carry when your holster locks up on the trigger guard. This distance digs into your legs virtually zero amount of the time for me, where the 19 now and then might catch me, although this is still an easy gun to carry appendix. <clears throat> the heights. I'm just going to do it like this, line them up the best I can to slide. And there you go. APX is a tinge longer. And as far as getting that grip, some people struggle with getting a full grip on the 19. I don't have any problem with it. Centurion being a little bit longer provides more of a grip surface for those with bigger hands. So let's do some measurements, with the trusty calipers. I took some heat from a guy once. He said, um, uh, where I was taking measurements on guns, he said, you must really like to use those calipers or something like that. And I said, no, but I like to give viewers numbers and information. That's why I have this channel. So 1.007, 1.007 over the slide. I'm gonna measure the APX slide over the serrations, 1.113. So about a hundred thousandths difference, which is one eighth would be 120 thousandths. There's about a hundred thousandths difference. That is a slide width difference between the Centurion and the 19, all right? Over the controls, let's go over the takedown lever. 
uh, 1.294 for the Centurion. And let's go over the slide, at least on 19, 1192. So virtually 100,000 is the difference. The grip, 1.180 on 19. And 1.246, so about 60 thousandths difference in the grip. Now these do have replaceable interchangeable back straps and I do know that the newer versions of the Glocks do as well. So that's it's not really a fair comparison uh, in that the Centurion can be changed even to a small. You could also put a large on it. So uh, I realize the side of the Glock is gonna be the same. There's no side panel to be able to change, but the APX kind of wraps around. But just for reference there, if you're a Gen 3 owner, that gives you an idea. Now another measurement I did wanna show you, and again, these are completely empty is I want to look at the trigger reach. And I'm going to try to measure these parallel with the slide from the webbing to where it touches the trigger. And it's not going to be necessarily where your finger touches the trigger. It's for consistency's sake, I want to keep it parallel with the slide. 2.784 on the 19. Sorry about that, I bumped the camera. And when I put this down on there, it's virtually the same. It just touches on the Centurion. 2.785, so it's almost identical. Now, the difference to me on the Centurion versus the 19 is the trigger design. If you look at the 19, it's kicked forward a little bit. The Centurion is more straight up and down. So I think the difference for some people who think the trigger reach feels smaller on the APX, and I was one of them, is the trigger being kicked forward on the 19 versus more up and down straight on the Centurion. There are your size differences between the Gen 3 Glock 19 and the Beretta APX Centurion. We do a weight comparison between the Gen 3 Glock 19 and the APX Centurion. I have these broken down into components, magazine frame and the, the slide assembly, which also has a recoil spring in the barrel because I'm gonna show you the difference between individual component weights as well. 23.1 ounces for the Gen 3 Glock 19. So 23.1 ounces. Centurion is up next. Twenty five point nine ounces. So that's two point eight ounces difference between the two guns, which is equivalent to I weighed them a little bit ago, seven rounds of federal HST hollow point. So if that matters to you, that gives you an idea. Seven rounds of HSTs or something similar. If you put those in your hand, 124 grain, that will tell you the difference between the Centurion and the Glock 19. So let's see where the weight difference comes in. The Breda APX Centurion fray, or slide, excuse me, is 16.2 ounces. Glock 19 is 16 ounces. You might look at the two slides and think when they're fully assembled that the Centurion has got to be heavier, the slide. It just looks beefy and you would assume that it's way heavier just by the look. But as you saw on the scale there, two tenths of one ounce difference. So they're virtually the same in slide weight. So where do the weight differences come in? Well, let's weigh the mags. Centurion mag is 2.6 ounces. 19 mag, 2.4, so two tenths of an ounce. So not much difference there. One component left, let's throw the 19 frame on. 4.7 ounces. Centurion, 7.1 ounces. So there's your difference, and we're gonna look at why. Number one, the APX is modular. This entire fire control unit trigger group comes out of the gun. So the rails are built into a metal frame, basically, on the inside that the 19 and most polymer frames don't have. So that's where your weight difference is gonna be. I will also say, I feel like the APX polymer is a little, uh, it just feels like higher quality than the 19. That's not a knock on the 19. Uh, these things have been great for many years. 
and they have function. But if we look at the side, you can kind of squish in on the side walls a little bit on the 19 due to the design of the APX and the wall thickness. Putting the same pressure, you just don't see nearly as much flex. So that's mostly where your weight difference comes in, about 2.8 ounces. If you're a Glock guy, and you're considering a Centurion, uh, but you don't know. I, yeah, I don't know, it's a different trigger, it's a different feel. Will I be able to shoot it well? I'm telling you guys, I think it's the easiest transition I have made to any other gun from a Glock. Uh, it's a great gun to shoot, really easy to shoot. The ergonomics are incredible, the weight, the balance. It's just a really, really sweet gun. However, if you are invested in Glock, and this is your baby, the 19's been in your holster for a long time, Maybe you don't have the funds, maybe you're not interested in spending the funds, whatever. There's nothing wrong with this gun. Absolutely nothing wrong with a 19. If I had a preference, you give me a preference between the two to carry the rest of my life, it's gonna be the Centurion. I just think it offers so many features out of the box, a great trigger, metal sights, ridiculous ergonomics, and it shoots a little bit softer, okay? Now, I didn't focus much on accuracy today. They're both more accurate than I am. I think in some of the footage you saw where the rounds went, but I will say this in closing, the 19 I shoot slightly better from distance, slow fire. But out of the holster, from 10 yards and in, the APX Centurion, I shoot better than the 19. I throw fewer shots and my groups are a little bit tighter with the Centurion. So very interesting, very cool. Both are great choices. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Comment down below any questions you might have. Um, like and subscribe, please. Hit that little bell down below. It will let you know when I upload new content. Oh, and by the way, speaking of the APX, the single stack is going to be released on Monday. Look for that. Thanks for watching, everybody.